Hi everybody, it's me Yolanda, the Crochet Addict. Welcome to Ice Yarns Unboxing 80 Plus Kilos. And we are finally unboxing last box of that shipment. So I'm very excited to open it. This box says it needed to be rescreened. All my yarn has been rescreened twice at the customs. And there was a sticker on one of the boxes that said um, it was um, screened by a, what's the name of the dog? The, pretty much the customs uh, sniffing dog, probably drug dog. They probably thought that uh, who on earth buys this much yarn in a month and a half? Well, if you tell me your yarn is about to be like twice as expensive like a lot more expensive not twice but a lot more expensive guess what I'm going to stock up so I have enough yarn for a couple years so I just thought it was funny how my yarn looked like I am a drug lord because <laughs> there was all kinds of stickers from customs dog sniffing it was crazy this box has survived the shipment the best it does look like a giant mutated rat got into it because the corners are all eaten up chewed up but the previous the second box was just exploded so customs just wrapped a bunch of uh, tape see-through tape so there was like this gap opening like this giant rectangle square gap open like literally this much had no box on it was just yarn showing but luckily ice yarns does put their yarn in extra bags so my yarn was fine so at least customs is nice enough to um, secure the yarn fully I also have Jelani here helping me guess what Jelani did Jelani was a bad bad boy today as always. <laughs> yeah, you heard him. So he went to Hobby Lobby to get hot podge. Hot podge. What he said. You know, Yolanda and her pronunciation sometimes is just ridiculous. Hot podge. That's what I said, hot podge. Hodge podge. <laughs> Hodge podge. So Jelani went to Hobby Lobby to get hodge podge. Uh, because yeah, yeah, accentuated. Oh, I wish he would agree to get on videos. You should <laughs> see him, he's comical, anyways. So he went to Hobby Lobby to get hodgepodge. And what <laughs> stop laughing at me, I'm trying to pronounce it the right way. <laughs> hodgepodge. Oh my god, okay. So he went to get it, and he was gone for a while, but I knew he's uh. He's planning to build me some uh, shelves for my yarn or whatnot. Like, there's a lot of stuff to do still over the house. So I figured he's just getting stuff for that. He comes back, and I think I'm going to insert this video. Because I thought I was no longer recording. And I guess my phone started to record. He brought me a huge bag of yarn from Hobby Lobby. I'm like... <laughs> I am so lucky that I have a husband who encourages my addiction. He in no way, shape, or form says to stop buying yarn. He just feeds the fire with gasoline. Like, he brought me a bag of yarn. Because I told him, I said, I'm going on a yarn diet. I will not buy any yarn for the whole 2000, 2023 until Black Friday sale when ice yarns. Notice what she Have says. A sale. She says she won't buy any yarn, but she doesn't say she'll buy many yarns. <sighs> yes, keep buying. <laughs> so I'm not going to buy any yarn. So he's like, but you didn't say that you cannot be gifted yarn. I'm like, no, because that's different. <laughs> so he's been gifting me yarn. <laughs> so... There we go. Okay, let's go back. Let's get to this a giant box of yarn. So let's let's roll. Oh, there's more Picasso. 
black Picasso. I'm definitely loaded up on that. And I was so excited when I saw they had um, the black Picasso shades of like gray, the black, the white. I'm so excited about it. So excited, not even lying. I need scissors for that. My, I don't have nails. My nails are too weak. So, I was so excited when I saw that they um, had the new shades of Picasso, which is the black shades and gray shades. I was like, yes, please. And I think I bought four or five packs for. Oh. Okay, this was sales yarn. And I bought it because it has all kinds of grays. Let me touch it. I have not touched this type of yarn yet. Ooh, you're soft. Not savor soft. Um, it does feel soft. It's soft. It's soft. It's it's not. Uh, it's softer than. Uh, what are you? Super saver. I would say like mainstay. It's soft. Ooh, dark one is softy soft. Okay, that feels like softly baby that is softly baby soft wow okay I, I i see you this is very nice yarn like it very feels very nice does not feel like cheap yarn does not feel like it okay so some of these uh sale yarns are they all are like leftover yarns some are when some are like Oh, just crap yarn, which I'm totally down with. So, quick story, quick story time. So, we want to donate uh, to a animal shelter. And I used to live in Illinois, in Chicagoland over there. Animal shelters are... Uh, they're loaded with donations. They're very picky with food they want. They want just expensive food. Like the $60 bag of food type of foods. Uh, they don't want anything cheaper. Like they want the high quality food. And uh, their dogs live like royalties in those shelters. They have beds. Um, they don't ha they don't lay on concrete floors. Like they're aluminum. 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 What he said. Is that what it is? Aluminum. Am I saying it correct? Like is that the, the right word for the floors? It's not the foil. Aluminum's the ceiling, like to metal. No, not not that. Uh, their their floors are out of um, concrete. I'm talking about the Chicago land ones. It's not aluminum. Linoleum. L yes, that linoleum. Linoleum. Yes. So they have those floors, and the dogs have beautiful beds, warm, cozy environment. Um, yeah, they are separated by bars because it's an animal shelter. But their shelters are nice. I have been to many animal shelters in Illinois because I volunteered in Illinois, um, Chicagoland. And yeah, they are very picky. The type of cleaners they get in donations. They literally had pallets of dog food that they were looking to get rid of um, because somebody donated like foods and they only use certain very expensive high brand foods like blue buffalo that type of food that um they were looking for so all the other like pedigree um all the beds. kibbles like any other type of dog food that cheaper brands they they wanted to discard it so they were like giant pallet of that so when me and Johnny went to donate to this dog shelter, they were happy to get anything. Like, I told them, I said, I had $100 left over for, from the donations that I collected at my grooming shop um, to buy stuff for donating. And I said, I have $100 left for dog food. Uh, I would like to get, uh, can you give me a list of what kind of dog food you guys need 
and they said anything like literally anything if you're not picky with brand names like if you're not picky just anything so um we went and it, we got the dog food and they said and i jelani said like let's go look at the doggies so we went to look at the doggies there was one dog that stood out it looked like a broken heart dog it's an older dog it's a pit bull very old and it in the eyes the dog like i almost cried when i saw the dog it looks at you like defeated by life like it looks like it just it's given up and the rest of the dogs are all like crazy over there <laughs> they're super energetic there was other one older dog it looked like a golden retriever with a great pyrenees mix but they all sleep on a concrete with just a thin blanket like like the uh flat flannel fleece like the fleece uh throw rug or throw blanket it's not even throw blanket it's just fleece it's very thin and they sleep on concrete and the walls are all concrete so the, it is warmed up enough in there but they all just sleep on concrete and I'm like, oh, so I'm glad that I got so much scrap sales yarn because what I'm going to do is this year, um, ideally I would like to make 12 blankets for the uh, crochet, 12 blankets. And on other side, like you saw Piper's blanket and on other side, uh, sew in a fleece blanket so it's thicker. And it's more comfortable and donate it next year for December. Because this show, I think I was just very spoiled to see how good of a life Chicagoland dogs live in shelters compared to uh, where resources are not available like here. Anyways, let's go back to opening. So that's my plan for all a lot of that scrap yarn that I got is to make cute blankets. Anyways, let's go back to yarn. This is another season. Oh gosh. Okay, this is another softly baby soft level. Oh, something's on the side. What? There's something on the side. What do you mean something? The tag. Oh. Yeah, it says something. I don't know. Hmm. It says packet. So, it has a sticker. It feels like softly baby, but thinner. This is like a way two, maybe? A three? Very soft. Very soft. Sorry. I have not yawned in a while. Um, baby glitz. No, cakes glitz. Cakes glitz. Love cakes glitz. This is cakes decay, I believe. Yep, cakes decay. Cakes decay is exactly like Mandela. Uh, once I tried to crochet um, cakes decay ball cake. And Mandela in the same colorway, they were literally, I wish I filmed back then, but I did not. I was taking a long year break. I crocheted same thing, same square, just like a large square. And they both ended pretty much the same way, like the colorway was going the same way. So I'm highly convinced that this is what Mandela is, cakes, uh, Cakes decay. Much cheaper though, because you're buying straight from factory. Beautiful colors. Uh, jazz, Cakes Jazz. I got lucky with Cakes Jazz because I bought the sales lot that had four giant packs of uh, leftover of Cakes Jazz. Of course, it doesn't say it's Cakes Jazz, but I can tell from the feel and everything. More Magic Glitz. Not Magic Glitz, Cakes Glitz. Oh, yep, more of uh, Lambkin. Lambkin, Lambkin. I showed 
the lambkin in detail in video two. So you guys are gonna have to watch opening one, two, and three in a row so you can, because I will be showing more in detail about other yarns. I don't think I showed in detail cakes blitz. In case you have never done, never had cakes blitz, blitz. So I'm gonna just open this one. It, it feels like mandala and interesting I think they're using more or either different uh, metallic because it feels scratchier than before like I can feel the glitz part it's not scratchy by any means but previously cakes glitz you could not even feel oh look how beautiful I think they're just using more of the glittering part. So it's not scratchy. I can still put it to my face. But I won't because I have a, a pound of makeup. Mm, so it's a way three. Let us let me read you. It's a way three, 150 grams, 540 meters, 95% acrylic, 5% metallic lurex. So look how beautiful it's really gorgeous 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 could have been a bad uh, ratio mix up in the uh, factory too i don't know i think the metallic yarn maybe they made it a little bit thicker than it used to be because it is more glittery now it's gorgeous like this color i really like this color i'm not it, you would think that I love pink color, but I'm not that much of a pink fan. So this colorway was so gorgeous. I grabbed three of them, I believe. Oh my gosh. It's great. Really beautiful. Oh, let me show you the colorway. And this is the, this colorway. I feel like Ice Yarns, Cakes Glitz, and Magic Glitz are only glittery yarns that the metallic part does not bother me, doesn't scratch me. Another one of these. I think I got four. Oh, I really bought a lot of these colors. I think I'm done with the cake blitz. Yes, I am. Oh, that's a sales hand. This is heavy. Is this cotton? I think this is cotton. Okay. Um, I bought this on sale. And like I said, if it's natural fiber, they will say what it is. They, they will give you that just in case you are allergic to it. So this is 70% mercerized cotton, 30% viscose, 100 grams, 350 meters, 3.5 millimeters, number two white. So heavy. So I bought this cotton because I wanted more colors for cotton for dish rags and stuff. Oh, these are tiny little bolts. It's a sales yarn, so it's probably their leftovers. So it's not 150 grams each. These are just leftovers. But they did give a correct tag what it is because it's a natural fiber and a lot of people are allergic to, some people, not a lot. Are allergic to certain fibers it's extremely soft i like that let me look at this green one i really like this green color oh this one is a bigger bowl it's just their leftovers so some are tiny see some are tiny it's just their leftovers this one is thicker than the other it's their leftovers it's very very soft definitely 
and it's light. It's heavy, but it's light. Because a lot of times cotton is very heavy. So for a garment, for like a shirt or sweater, like for any garment, I think this would be perfect. This is something that I would want my shirt to be made of. It's very soft, very, very baby soft. Definitely not dish rag type of yarn. Come on, shove it in. So I'm highly happy with this. And I don't care that these are not full skins. You know why? Because when you make dish rags and stuff like that, I'm going to make dish rags. I might make some doilies out of these. You change colors anyways because you want it to look fun. You don't want it just one same blah color. So it's actually perfect for me. This way I get to try out a bunch of colors. And my favorite puzzle baby. How much I love you. Puzzle baby. Love puzzle baby. Oh god, there's more yarn. This is the largest box out of all of them. This is another sales yarn. Uh, these ones feel kind of like it's wool, but it's not wool. It's acrylic, but they have made a feel. So it's soft, it's not scratchy, but it feels... It doesn't feel like it's acrylic, if that makes sense to you guys. It does not feel like acrylic. It doesn't feel plasticky. So I think these would make a beautiful sweater. Sadly, I do not crochet sweaters because I don't know how to. I really want to. I saw this one YouTuber. She's got yarn. She made this beautiful Christmas cardigan. She called it ugly sweater, but it was the most beautiful sweater I have seen. And I'm the type of person who is not a fan of crochet garments. I would never buy one. There has been three crochet garments and now four after I saw hers in my lifetime that I saw. I'm not talking about uh, like hats and stuff. I'm talking about sweaters, pants, shirts, stuff like that. And it's such a gorgeous sweater and I really want to make it and I may try it. But I'm going to try not from this yarn. But I'm going to try from the type of yarn she did it with. Anyways, so that's a nice pack of yarn. Glitz baby. Puzzle baby. Love puzzle baby. It's extremely squishy. This is exact colorway that I made this. To, and this is big enough. Do you think it's like a twin size or a queen size size? That one? Full maybe size a, bed? Maybe a double. Double? Double or twin. A twin, twin bed? Probably. Yeah, so I would agree. So it's about twin size bed and I needed five pack of the of this yarn because I did use two strands together so this is our favorite blanket would you say this is your favorite blanket yeah you know it is because you keep stealing it when we come <laughs> from outside whenever we get gather in a living room like if I'm like even I'm usually looking for my glasses and Jelani will already be wrapped up in this blanket. <laughs> and I crocheted this for myself. I bought already yarn for his blanket. I just have to make it. Hopefully by next year I'll make it. And it's... So it's this yarn for the squares. Two together. One... Just one strand. It's not going to feel as luxurious. But if you use... Uh, no, this is triple strand. So it's very thick. I used a 10 millimeter hook. It's extremely squishy. Would you say it's squishy? Definitely, yeah. <laughs> he loves that blanket. He uses it as a pillow, too. Yep. I <laughs> never... Bundle it up behind my head and lay it underneath it. <laughs> I never seen a person use a blanket as a pillow. Like, every time he squishes it together and just lays on it on a couch like it's a pillow. It's so soft. Highly recommend. Double it or triple the strand. Probably double it. Double is enough, too. And you will have this magical blanket. Oh, too much talking, I know. But there's a lot to say, right? Let's see. Oh, 
almost whacked me with it. <laughs> Ooh, this, another pep. Okay, uh, so guess what? Once I'm done with this, I'm gonna have to let my phone recharge, and while it's recharging, I'm going to have to check off all the yarn from the list that I got and make sure that it's all there. Wish me luck. Ooh. Okay, this is like a super thick yarn. This is green. I've, I've touched this before. Let me touch it again so I remember what it feels like. This one is a very ropey yarn. Great for your rugs. That's what I'm going to be using it so when I'm making my, when I'm finishing up my um, garage rug. I'm going to be using a lot of that yarn. Oh, wow. Okay. I don't remember you being that soft. Wait a minute. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, very soft. Oh, I like this. This is like expensive sweater. This does not feel acrylic at all. This feels like a very nice, expensive sweater yarn. Wow. If I knew how to, if I was a knitter, okay, if I could pay somebody or ask my aunt to knit me a sweater, this would be the yarn that I would want. This is so nice. Touch it. Big sweater. You should see the aura couple schemes. I don't know what they are. Her. Like, I don't know what they are because it doesn't say. This is the sales yarn. Just look through your uh, lot number and see it. Oh, it doesn't say. Oh. Yeah, they, the sales yarn, they literally just show you what it is. There's no tags unless it's a natural fiber, like wool or something. Then they will tell you because some people are very allergic. Just buy anything that looks similar to it <laughs> and just mail it to your aunt until you start making. And then mail it over here and we'll tell her which ones we like. <laughs> This is so, so, so nice. Like, this is nice, expensive sweater. This is nice, expensive sweater yarn. Wow. This is not... Uh, it's squishy, it's soft, but it's also rough. It's definitely a rug yarn. I'm gonna use this for the rug. Um, Not so soft. This feels... This feels like Super Saver Dark Purple. I feel like Dark Purple of Super Saver is extremely, like, harsh. Ooh, okay, you feel like... Yeah, you, you feel like, um... Saver... Or, no, 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 I'm lying. This also feels like... I'm touching this. I'm like, this reminds me of something. And so when you go to Kohl's, if you guys go to Kohl's, I don't shop at Kohl's only for perfumes and stuff and colognes. Because Kohl's is expensive. And they have these really nice expensive sweaters. That's what it feels like. It's like expensive sweater that it's not wool, but it kind of feels like it. So it's not slippery fabric... Um, polister it doesn't feel like that very nice i like that uh rug rough oh that is nice and then i have four skins of this this is nice um this is definitely acrylic it's acrylic soft it's mm, i love this yarn this is definitely i love this yarn feel touch it soft 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 yeah no touch this how rough it is it feels like wool, but it's not wool, but it's very... I do like it, though. For some reason, men like scratch yarn. Jelania likes Play that. for boxers. Okay. Okay. This feels like a scratchy wool, but it's not. It's uh, acrylic. Lots of sale yarn. Oh, okay. Oh, I just touched these. This is... Wait, is this the nice, expensive yarn that it feels like? 
hold on we gotta open this we have to open this i need to find out if this is that black yarn that i thought was very luxurious expensive sweater where'd you open where's the opening ah got it oh wow you are soft this is another very soft sweater I should just collect all the soft sweaters to send it to my aunt and be like, hey, can you please knit me a sweater? Wow. Touch it. Oh, you should see Angelina's face. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> that was literally just... <laughs> yeah, looks expensive sweater right there. Mm, this is that um, also like woolly sweater that is not wool. I'll just say it feels like wool, but like not wool because it's not wool yeah it's it's not scratchy on the skin but it's kind of rough so it feels like it's a sweater definitely like sweater type of yarn because they've touched sweaters like this before yep this is the expensive black yarn well i'm assuming this would be very expensive yarn because it feels very rich you're gonna put this one in this bag. I can't believe how soft this is. You're gonna go to the highway spot. Yeah, where I don't wanna. Yeah, this feels like a sweater. Like a wool sweater. Oh no, my balls are oh, running no, away. <laughs> oh! My poor magic glitz. My uh, cake's glitz. It got so squished. That's okay. It'll be okay. We'll do a CPR on lamb you. Can. Lambkin. Yep, that's more lambkin. Beautiful color. Beautiful mint color. Oh, that's uh, jazz cakes. Oh, look how beautiful that is. The only reason I bought ca uh, cakes, what is it called? Cakes, cakes Jazz, Jazzy Cake. What are you? Cakes Jazz. The only reason I bought Cakes Jazz was because at first I bought the sale lot yarn that had like a colorway like that, like all kind of all over the place. And I'm like, oh, that's pretty. I'll buy it. And then later I bought. I saw like, oh, new yarn, Cakes Jazz. So I bought, because i never seen it before. So I bought just one pack, so two cakes. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it's the same yarn. So now I bought more because I really Blitz. liked it. Cakes Blitz. Look how pretty that is. More jazz. <laughs> more jazz. Same color weight as the other one. It's really pretty. This is going to be mine. It's not leaving the house. Whatever I make out of this will be Cakes mine. Decay. Cakes decay. That's another one. Donkey that's Kong. like exactly like Mandala. Cakes glitz. Cakes glitz. Another one. And cakes glitz. Cakes glitz. Holy moly! I bought a lot of cakes glitz. Is it? That's it. We are done. The, yeah, there is that box that needs to come from Minnesota ice yarns. I guess FedEx lost it, sent it to Minnesota. I don't know what happened. All I know, there's yarn coming from Minnesota to me that I did not receive my, with my ice yarns order. And then the only other yarn that I still have on the way, cause who knows how many months, many more months it will take, is from Wish. I ordered that yarn maybe two months ago. It, it takes a while, so it's starting to show up. It showed up, some of it showed up today, so I feel like in a matter of days, I will be getting more and more of it, like it should arrive soon. I thought I heard a car, but that could be neighbors. Even though UPS said that uh, the tracking says that my missing yarn is going to come on the end of the second or third, I still keep watching my driveway. <laughs> so guys, what do you think? about ice yarns sale lots like even if you didn't try like just watching my opening what do you think 
So what I'm going to do at the end of the video of each video, I'm just going to put, no, I'm going to put at the end of this video how much on average I paid for all 80 plus kilos for every 100 grams of yarn. So that is that and I will see you guys in my next video. I hope you guys have a good week. And at the end of this video, put on your uh, comments if you recommend Sylvie to get more yarn, yes or no. <laughs> Bye guys.